Number one ladies detective agency. Are you a detective, ma? Not exactly a detective. I'm a detective secretary. Emma, do you carry a gun with you? There is no need. Detective work is not all bang, bang, bang like in the movies. <laughs> Hasta la vista, baby. Dumela said, darling lady. Dumela, right? Did you sleep well? A good detective never sleeps. Unless, of course, she's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm late. Is there any post? Edma, all saying the same thing. Dear sir, your payment is overdue. I picked up the leaflets from the printers. 200 pula, 30 days to pay. Oh, they look good. You did a fine job. Botswana's only accredited expert. Let's just hope it does the trick. Thank you. Oh, ma, I need a dental appointment. Have you got a toothache? No. But you hate dentists. Please, just make the appointment. Dr. Komoti. What kind of name is Komoti? I believe he's a Nigerian. You want to go to a Nigerian dentist? Let us not be prejudiced. But you don't even have a toothache. This Komoti could, could make you unconscious with his anesthetic and, and then he could... Could what? Steal the money from your handbag. Please. It's just a checkup. That is all. Make the appointment in the name of Ma Tetana. As soon as possible. Ah, now I understand. This is a professional assignment. I'm doing a favor for a friend. Oh. Mm. I see. I would like to make an appointment with Dr. Komoti. It is for my employer, Mat Matatan. When he is forced to confront the thing that most strikes terror into his heart, the good investigator grits his teeth and addresses his tasks with a cool and courageous hand. <sighs> She'll be there. I have made the appointment. Excellent. It is in one hour. Today. You said as soon as possible. And today is as soon as possible. Don't be upset. Call straight back and make it tomorrow. As soon as possible tomorrow. Hello. Yes. What do you want? I want a job. Oh, you can't have a job. Go away. Why? Because you are too low. I am tall for my age. Who are you talking to? I'm trying to explain to this annoying little boy that we have no job to give him. Please, ma, I'll be very good for you. Have you forgotten? We have 200 pullers worth of leaflets piled up as idle as bricks. 
who is to put them into people's hands and through the kids? He will probably just throw them away. I won't. I'll put them into people's hands and through the gate. We should give him a chance. We should give the job to someone who is old enough to read what he is handing out. I can read. Come into my office, young man. The number one lady's defective agency. Nearly. Is there someone that you know and love who has mysteria? Mysteriously. Mysteriously. Vanished. Vanished. Bring this leaflet with, with you, you for your friendly free mm. discount. Very good. What is your name? Wellington, I will give you a try. Yes! <laughs> Here is one bundle for you to hand out. I will give you two puller now and another two for every client who comes in with a leaflet. Mama Kuti? Thank you, Mama. Mm. Off you go. I still think you will throw them away. No, you won't. Charlie, we do not drive the customers' cars as though we are out on the racetrack. But, boss, we are speedy motors. We are only doing what it says on the board. Sir. We are called speedy motors because our work is speedy, not because we soup up the customers' cars. I'm sorry, ma. It's all right. I'm very sorry. I don't mean to cause any inconvenience. Thank you for this favor. Ginger May has been so worried. Please, don't give it a second thought. I'm happy to help. I don't want to put you in any danger. Rema Tukoni, he's just a dentist. What's the worst that could happen? to look at a nasty drill ever again. <laughs> okay? Goodbye, Mrs. Moje. You can go first, ma. Thank you. Who is next? Mrs. Boteng. Uh, Mrs. Boteng, how are you? I'm all right, thank you. Did Dr. Komoti do that? No, she was in a bed car crash. I am Ginger May. We've got to be quick. That lady's only collecting her new teeth. Your uncle, Rema Tokoni, told me that you had some concerns. Ah, big concerns. There's no greater public danger than a dentist who is having a mental breakdown. I sincerely agree with that. But what makes you think he's having one? When he's on an upswing, he's a very good dentist. But when he's on a downswing, he makes mistakes. We've had infected implants, a root filling that went sideways into a patient's gum, an abscess molar that exploded. I know what I'm talking about. I am starting to qualify as a dentist myself. Don't let the, the patients complain. Oh, no. Patients are too afraid of dentists to complain. They just run away. Quickly. Is Dr. Komoti on an upswing or a downswing today? It's important. Okay. Bye now. Thank you again, ma. Will you come in, please? Lie down. You have any discomfort? No. Pain of any kind? No. No pain at all. I just want to check up. Nothing more. Well, I'll be the judge of that. 
Let's take a look, shall we? Open wide. Good. Cleaning is excellent. Hmm. Healthy gums, no bleeding. Ah, there's a tiny chip in the enamel there. You may have noticed a little roughness against the tongue. Uh, it won't take a moment. What shall I write in the account book? Nothing. He seemed like a perfectly normal dentist. Quite good, in fact. The case is closed. But that was an upswing day. I think that you should see him again to find out what he is like on a downswing day. Oh, no, thank you. Oh, maybe you could put Dr. Komoti under surveillance. You mean shadow him? Mm. Yes, it might be possible. I'm looking for Ma Ramatswe, the detective. I am Ma Ramatswe. My Katima. Hmm. Banda Telephone Smart Supplies. Ah, oh, I think we got our own telephone from your shop. <laughs> Isn't that so, Mama Kutsi? We acquired all our communications apparatus from Smart Supplies. Mama Kutsi graduated from the Botswana Secretarial College. Ninety-seven percent. Hey, hey, that's a high, ma. It is the highest in the history of the college. Rebanda, would you care, care to come into my office? Oh, pleasure, pleasure. I wanted to take a look at this photo, ma. Yes. Is this your wife? Yes, exactly my wife. Hmm. Is she missing? No, 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 no. She's not missing. She's at home. As large as life. If not too larger. Ma, I want you to take a closer look. Yeah, the photo closer. You see what she's standing next to? There, you see? It's a dog. A dog? Yes, a dog. So the dog is missing? Y yes. Oh, the name of the dog is Lucky. Ah. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Rebanda, but I am not a dog catcher. The remit of this agency does not extend to four-footed animals. But, <clears throat> Ma, please, my situation is desperate. Ma, you see, I took Lucky to the Pooch Parlor, there in the African Mall. My attention was distracted. Just only one minute. Hey, it was gone. And you see, if I fail to bring the dog, I will be... Be in the doghouse. Ma, if you knew my wife, you wouldn't think of making a joke out of this matter. This, this is serious. This is a most important street. I'd like to make an exception for you, Rebanda. But unfortunately, my diary is full. Not totally full. Oh, Lord. We are still waiting for the documents in the diamond smuggling case, which means that we have... Just a moment. Mm. Three free afternoons, as from today. But what Maramotswa is too polite to tell you is that finding a dog will be very expensive. But it is surely cheaper than finding a human being. You just have to stand in the right place, you call his name, then it comes. If it is a happy dog, perhaps. But this dog definitely does not look happy. Mama Kutsi is right, as always. We will take your case at the full unhappy dog fee. <laughs> Never did I think the number one ladies detective agency would stoop so low as to search for a dog. She's 
a client. 500 pula a day is not to be sneezed at. I'm sneezing already. You go this way, I'll go that. seeing you reading that leaflet. I'm the lady detective it refers to. D do you want a tissue? Thank you. Sit down. I'm Peter Osipambe. It's my husband. He has been missing for the last two weeks, and I, I, I do not know what to do and who to turn to for help. You can turn to me. Please, Ma. Tell me more. His name is Peter. Last year, he joined this new church group. I think they call themselves the Apostolics. Do you think this group has something to do with him being missing? Eh, hey, he disappeared on a Sunday when they hold those crazy church services. Hmm. Um, do you know what this church group is called? Yeah, I'm, I'm a Catholic. Hmm. I'm sure you know this, Ma, but sometimes when a man is missing, he has found interest in another woman. So you think that Maybe he has found himself a nice young apostolic lady with, with better blankets than me. <laughs> no, but that is a possibility. It wouldn't surprise me. You know, I, I know he has many women friends, but when he joined this group, he promised he would turn over a new leaf. <laughs> Do you really want to solve this mystery? Even if the solution makes you unhappy? What difference would it make? I'm unhappy now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you remember me? From college, can I like to part? Em, I remember you. How are you doing? I am doing wonderfully, as a matter of fact. Thank you for asking. I have a great position. High marks aren't everything, you know, Grace. I have my own techniques. I researched all the men who were offering jobs, and then I applied only to the good-looking ones. See, I knew that is how they would choose their secretaries. The looks department. <laughs> Reverse psychology, you see? My boss is... is he's a great man. Mm. Oh, he brought me this bag, as a matter of fact. So I get all the packs. <laughs> but what about yours? What's he like? My boss is all that a boss should be. As for my job, I am the senior secretary in a number one detective agency. Really? <laughs> it's just, when I saw you down there, I thought maybe you were working for the dog catcher's department. Excuse me. I'm on a very important case.
What do you want? I want some more leaflets. It's too late to deliver leaflets. Everyone is going home, and so should you. Please let me do something. No. Clean up. No. Take out rubbish? No. Please go home. Wait. Let's do it again. Passport, you say? Passport. To report a said lack of progress in the case of Dr. Komoti. Don't worry about that. I have a surprise for you. Look, Dr. Komoti brought it in this morning for a small electrical repair. His left hand tail light. Dumela Re. Dumela Re. How did you know? Because I followed Dr. Komoti last night in this station wagon to the border. And now, a few hours later, it, it doesn't make sense that. He returned so soon. Exactly. Maybe he went to Mavigan to do some shopping. Then why drive back before the shops are open? Maybe he went to see his wife and kids. Then why not stay for the weekend? What explains it fully is that he's smuggling drugs. Drugs? Yes, drugs. A dentist has easy access to such things. And, and if he's taking drugs as well as smuggling them... Then that explains the upswinging and the downswinging. Exactly. We must search this vehicle. Find us too fast. I, 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 I. Nothing. Drug smugglers don't leave any traces. Shame. This is a very mysterious man. Then we must read his car. Read it? You can find out almost anything about a man just by reading his car. Really? Oh, yes. I can find out more about a man from his car in a minute than I can from talking to him for an hour. Looking at a man's car is like uh, looking at a man naked. But more pleasant, of course. For instance, The makeup mirror still has its protective cover on. This man has no wife or girlfriend. No scuffing on the passenger door sill. This man has no friends. This car is almost seven years old, but still he has the plastic seat covers on. Ah, boss, this man likes plastic cover seats. No, there's no wear and tear on the passenger seat and none in the back. He's a lonely man. Will I bonnet? The clutch cable is unworn. He does not drive like so many people do. He may be third or maybe fourth. He's a decisive man. He knows his mind. But the spare tire is worn and worn treads on all the other tires. What does that mean, boss? That means he drives a lot. Uh, I knew that, Luke. No. It means he has a weakness. He's a greedy man who will not spend his money even with his safety and the safety of others at stake. My guess is. This is a man who will do anything for money. I thought I had nothing to worry about. Now I see I have deadly serious work to do. Thank you, Ra. Thank you, Ma. That was 
very clever. No, it's nothing, really. Um, so, will I be seeing you at church tomorrow? Um, most of Habaroni will see me in church tomorrow. But I'm afraid not you, J.L. Bing, what you call me. Bishop, I'm the bishop of this church. Oh, I'm sorry, Your Grace. Well, it doesn't matter, you know. You're not a member of our church, so you wouldn't know my title. Um, <clears throat> have you come to be healed? Oh, no. I'm in very good health, thank you. You might. Particularly my teeth. Uh, but I do have a question. Uh, does the name Peter Simpambe mean anything to you? Why do you ask? Because he's disappeared. And the only clue I've got is that he belonged to an apostolic church. Oh. You think he's gone off with some young female fellow Christians? Well, sometimes, unfortunately, man falls prey to the temptations of the flesh. That is one possibility. Well, he's not a member of my flock. The Apostolic Church of the Holy Spirit believes in marriage for life. But there are other churches that I could mention. Naming no names. The Church of the Holy Army of Jerusalem. Those are the people to ask. It is possible that it is not the husband, but the wife who has found romance. She could put poison in her husband's food, and when he died, the man she loves would help her bury the body deep in the ground where no wild animals can find it. Tell me, did her husband have any life insurance? I, I don't know. Life insurance is a very important element in these cases. Hmm. Thank you very much for your time, Father Zedok. Salah Sinkley. Do you know him? Are you a policeman? I think you mean policewoman. You're a policewoman? No, I'm a private detective. Now please, tell me if you know where Peter Sipambe is. He's gone to a better place. You mean he's dead? No. He's alive. In a way that you and I can only dream of. The good Lord has taken him. How exactly has the good Lord taken him? You won't believe me. Please, just tell me what happened. Two weeks ago, I was baptizing sinners. There were six deacons in the water helping on that day. 
Peter Sipembe was one of them. I missed a young lady sinner. Then I saw to my amazement that there were only five deacons in the water. I counted again, but still only five. Peter Sipembe had completely vanished. Vanished? The Lord has taken him, body and soul. But I made no reports to the authorities of this miracle. You know, sometimes it's difficult to explain these things to non-believers. I can see that might be a problem. Richard? Richard? How are you feeling? If you don't eat your food, how do you expect to get stronger? I need to eat meat. <sighs> Why can't you earn enough to buy some? I'm doing my best. I can't ask to be paid just yet. She can't afford it. Why don't you sleep on the bed? You'll be more comfortable. <sighs> Nowhere is comfortable. Do you want the television? No. Come. Talk to me. I met a girl I knew from Secretarial College. She was all dressed up. And she couldn't stop talking about everything. It made me angry that a girl who scored 40% on a retake could do so well. So I was rude to her. And now I regret it. You will do better than all of them. Our parents didn't think so. They were wrong. She is here. Dumelama. Dumelama. Please come in. Thank you. Dumelama. Dumelama. Have you found my husband? Not quite. I have found his church and I spoke to the pastor. And what did the pastor say? This is the unsatisfactory part. According to the pastor, your husband was taken by the Lord, body and soul. And where does he say he's taking his body and soul to exactly? Presumably to heaven. I must say, <laughs> do you think I'm a crazy woman? No, ma, I don't think you're crazy. I, I am aware that this is not satisfactory information. And there is another thing. I found this this morning on the doorstep. There wasn't a note or anything. These are my husband's. Is everything there? No underpants. And his watch is missing. And now I suppose you're going to tell me that some heavenly laundry service left this year and that my husband is on some cloud somewhere with nothing but his underpants and a watch. No, ma. It's clear to me what's happened here, Madame Otu. My husband has fallen into the arms of another woman and now his old clothes are not even good enough for him. Except for his waterproof gold watch. Now that's gone for good. Ma, I have had enough. Consider this case closed.
That is not a happy woman. I'm not surprised that husband of hers went skipping off. What do you want? I want my tubular. She was a leaflet lady. He's right. She was a leaflet lady. But she's not a satisfied customer. She won't pay. It's not his fault. That is true. I think it's time for a little dental surveillance. But this time I will be better prepared. that you are a detective? That's because I am. Ah, so you are like Mrs. Mapper. You are very well read. But please, just do me the favor of stamping my passport. I'm in a small hurry today. Okay, detective, you can go. Both twins are dentists. What's so strange about that? It's quite usual for twins to be doing the same thing. Even when they're separated at birth, twins grow up, they meet, and behold, they're both driving Chevrolets and married to blondes. <laughs> hey, I once met this pair of twins who just both happened to have had the same tattoo on the... Oh, PK, you are confusing my thoughts. A serious crime has been committed. I think I know what it is. My problem is how to prove it. Mother Matsue, come at once! Is this horrible little object really lucky? Read the color. Ah, so it is. It is adorable. I found him. Give him five pula. No, ten pula. Ten pula. This is not a bank. <laughs> you are a clever young man to have found him. Where was he? I found him eating from a dustbin. He was lost and hungry. Did you hear what he said? 
He was lost and hungry. I think I know what happened to Peter Sipambi. Give him a leaven puller. He's earned it. Good job, Wellington. You may go. Get me the number for the University of Lagos Records Department and make a final appointment with Dr. Komoti. It is time to take revenge on dentists. What do I do with this? Hmm. Whatever you do, don't let it go. This was my daddy's rifle. He believed a daughter should learn everything a son would learn. I'm so grateful for that now. But what uh, exactly? Are you ready? Ready! This is where we get out. Is this where Peter Sipambe disappeared? This is the place. Oh, I thought we were going to shoot the dentist. Oh, that's a thought. Now we need to get a little closer to the water. The dog. The dog. The dog. On. He's going to do something useful for a change. You daddy. <laughs> How do we know that it's dead? It's not moving. Let's go then. No, no, not yet. We have to get the evidence. Pump. Made in Botswana. Ah, and it still works. Mm. A waterproof gold watch. One red time down and one to go. Why do you not simply report this man to the medical authorities? Because then they will despise him, defraud, defraud, whatever it is they do to dentists. That would create a scandal. I don't think it's right to make people more terrified of dentists than they are already. I'm not happy pretending to be something that I'm not. I'm not happy pretending to be something I don't want to be. You don't have to do anything. Just stand there and look menacing. 
What do you think? Are you menaced? Nyama, it won't work. He looks like a motor mechanic and he looks like it. Like a what? A hairdresser. She was going to say something else. I was not. I was going to say a beautician. I would never say that you are a something else. Oh, so there's something wrong about being a something else? I didn't say that you are a something else. And if you are a something else, then, then I'm not You know going what, to sweetie? Guys. You know what? If you are in a hole, stop digging. I am not in a hole. You are in a hole. No, I'm you not. Are in a hole stop right worrying now. about this. Ah, uh, boss. Ah, uh, boss. You look like a scary boss. <laughs> a strong, scary boss. Well, are you filled with fear? Emma, to the rim. Now all we need is a car. Come, come, see for the beautiful baby. Come, 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 follow me. Some men behave worse than little children, you know. <laughs> it was a perfectly simple extraction. <laughs> Matatana. We met before, I think. I was here last week. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Let me check my notes. I brought my niece, Elizabeth. Ah, uh, yes, Elizabeth. Like the queen. <laughs> I remember her well. Sweet little girl. <laughs> my niece's name is Portia. She's 32. She lives in Kanye. You didn't see me last week because you weren't here. I saw your brother, the real Dr. Komoti. The only time you've seen me was when you and your twin brother chased me down the road in Mafi Ah, uh, yes. The fat burglar. But it's not too late for me to call the police. Funny you should say that. Take a look out of the window. Who are they? Policemen. They don't look like policemen. They're undercover policemen. That is what undercover policemen look like. I don't believe you. Let's invite them in. Wait. Very wise, Mr. Komoti. Hmm. I think there is a way to settle this between us. Let's go into the surgery. Oh. Uh, excuse me. Pick it up. I said, pick it up. Hey! Detective Inspector Zolani. You see my friend here? He has got a reputation for unlimited brutality. So pick it up. Pick it up. Thank you, Detective Sergeant. Pleasure. You and your brother are running two dental practices for the price of one degree. Our Botswana authorities take a very serious view of medical fraud. So, you understand that you must leave and never come back. Then, the good people of Botswana can enjoy a qualified and stable dentist at this address. Sign. It's a pleasure, Mr. Komoti. To see you suffer in that chair after all the pain you've caused. Still don't believe they are policemen. Hey, you guys, this bad woman tells me you are coppers. Show me your badges. Did you say fat woman? What if I did? Up against you. <laughs> I'll make it easy for you. Either cross the border right now or take a ride with us back to the police station for some fist sandwich and some jail floor pie. Uh huh. And I will enjoy it. I mean, you will enjoy it. <laughs> I need some music to calm me down. 
Have you got some Luther Vandross in this car? Lu who? Luther Vandross. No, 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 no. Police officers wouldn't listen to Luther Vandross. They'd listen to something with more, with more, more power, like uh, like Bon Jovi or, or Midloaf. Or... Yeah, Midloaf. I do not believe that promise for one moment. Hmm. Don't worry about it. I took the precaution of calling my friend Billy Pilani of the South African Police. Dr. End needs to come out. He will receive a less than warm welcome when they arrive at the South African border. Why? 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 I can explain everything. I thought you didn't want a scandal. I don't. In Botswana. No. Come on. You were pretty convincing out there, Mr. JLB. Thank you. You went so bad yourself. For something else? <laughs> Is this your husband's watch? I gave this to him on our fifth wedding anniversary. I'm sorry I doubted you. I have brought your fee. It's 200 pula a day, I think. That is correct. You must be very sad to have lost your husband. I'm a little bit sad. But I would rather his watch be in the stomach of a crocodile than telling time for some young woman. Can we afford this? I intend to do what's right. Besides, we solved three cases. Though there will be no payment for the dentist's case. Not quite. Ginger May says that once she has qualified, she'll do your teeth completely free of charge for the rest of your life. That's very generous of you. Let me drive you home. No. Thank you, ma'am. I'll be quite fine. Let me. It's the least I can do. Is that your house? Ebna, just there. Mm. It is a very peculiar thing for her to say. Being happy that the watch was in the crocodile, not his girlfriend's pocket. Mm. I know what she meant. I suspect her husband was always a lady's man. It's painful knowing the man you love is being unfaithful. Now that pain is gone. Does it go? Really? Perhaps not completely. There is always something that remains. But time is a great healer. Not always. Thank you, ma. I'm going to cook something special for you tomorrow. How can we afford it? We had a little bit of a big bonanza today.
Someone is very frightened and they live in fear of their life. Could you find out why? Do these make any difference? No difference at all. This is a medical problem. Why don't you leave it for the hospital authorities to solve? I can't stand by while an innocent man's life is being ruined. Just say that you are my private assistant and then see what you can find out. If you'd only allow me to put a supportive arm around you. A patient will die if no one is there. Snake! <laughs> There's more from the number one ladies' detective agency next Sunday night at nine. As for tonight on the BBC HD channel, it's music. Texan singer Carolyn Hester has a Greenwich Village revival in Folk America at the Barbican next. <laughs>